Welcome to Banjo Kazooie at an N64 game, but eh, not anymore. Okay, buy N64. A game by Rare Rare, but uh, we're not playing the 64 version, we are playing the Xbox Live Arcade version. <laughs> There's some minor differences. You know, uh, we got the 64 here, and if you look closely. Whoa! Dude! Look at that nice uh, frame rate, those clean, crisp textures, and that. Oh, those models are. Anyway, Banjo Kazooie! <laughs> yeah! L look, updates in certain places uh, kind of keep it the same in other places. Yeah. There's a few differences here, like uh, everything Nintendo has been scraped away, like uh, this Nintendo xylophone is now Microsoft Game Studios xylophone. Mm. There's a few audio things that are desynced because the N64 was so, you know, <laughs> stitched together with just a hope and a dream. But everything else is basically is largely unchanged, save for a few things towards the very end of the game and some control schemes, obviously. But uh, yeah. We're gonna be playing Banjo Kazooie. It's gonna be it's gonna be really really fun. I I loved Banjo Kazooie as a kid, and only playing it now I realize how much I really did love it after all. So it's great to reconnect with this. Welcome one and all to Banjo Kazooie. Oh, it's so crisp and clear, and oh, Microsoft. Yeah, well. <laughs> thanks, thanks again for letting me in your Xbox One. I wouldn't play this any other way. Oh, no problem. I I figured it would be a good. Uh, a good change of pace. It's time for you to play good games for once. Yes. So let's get started. Uh, this is already changed. Uh, you get to choose play game leaderboards, achievements, and all that. Mm -hmm. The 64, you would just show, you know, be right here at the select a, select a file, basically. Don't really have much in terms of options. That's okay, I guess. I always did like this opening bit. Classic. It's just, uh, in Banjo's house, you get to see all the different things he does, and, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, all the different files are different things he's doing in his house. Yes, here he's sleeping, you know, this, he's, you know, he's about to wake up for the day, he's a very lazy bear. And then, uh, second one, he's, uh, cooking some dinner, mm -hmm. or some breakfast or whatever, and then the third one, I'm surprised they still kept, he's playing Game Boy! <laughs> It's, oops! No, no, he's he's playing the uh, the handheld Xbox that never came to be. Right, he's playing uh, Viva Pinata Land. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Totally not conspicuous at all. I just love what she's done with the place. I mean, it looks just like her. Uh, knock knock. This is Gruntilda the Witch. Her shtick is that she speaks and rhymes all the times, and she's disgusting as hell. Classic Snow White Tale, she's asking who is the fairest one of all, and uh, it's totally not her. I'm just thinking of how many kids with their N64 went up to their parents after playing Banjo-Kazooie and was like, Mom, Dad, what's a wench? Where can I get a hexagonal pot, Mom? <laughs> Apparently you just wave your hands over it and you see people in it. Wow! It's like the magic eight ball of cauldrons. Dramatic pause. Wow, that, I, I think with the lower frame rate, that would have worked perfectly in sync. This is Tootie, Banjo's sister, who, uh, if you remember from the Donkey Kong 64 uh, thing I mentioned earlier, this is one of those characters that Rare said, oh, hell with this character, we're getting rid of her after this game. <laughs> Okay. So they're gonna they're gonna go on an adventure. Yeah. I'm gonna get this out of the way now. Just you know, give me some hate right off the bat. 
There's something about those voice clips that just make me not enjoy this game as much. I would kind of agree with you. I mean, it's 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 okay. But when they uh, did this for ukulele, it, there was such a strong vitriolic reaction to them that they dramatically reduced them. Like it it almost reminds me of just kids trying to annoy one another with sound effects. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who that could be. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, what's a hag? So here's another change. In the 64 version, there's like cartoon fighting sound effects outside. Hey, wait, yeah! They've been, they've been cut here. Why? I don't know. They did a little bit of some instrument instrumentation changes in some of the songs. It's part of the uh, crisping up of the quality. So, oh no, Tootie's been fucking kidnapped. Oh no. Let's go get her back. Ah. So good to be just playing this again. <laughs> so many memories. So many good times. So many bad times, too. Oh, hey, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is back there. Mm hmm. Is it sad that that was the first Banjo game I ever played? <laughs> that is very sad, yes. <laughs> So this is Bottles the Mole. He is our tutorial guide for this game. I'm surprised. This this place is a Spiral Mountain, I think, if I remember the name correctly. Correct. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of real estate around here, so why doesn't everyone know each other? Well, Banjo's very lazy. He sleeps all the time. Oh. You know, Tootie knows who uh, Bottles is. So I imagine that Tootie is the one who, you know, goes out, runs all the errands and all that, and Banjo just stays at home. I mean, Nuts and Bolts starts with him being, you know, fat and lazy. So, uh, this is new, too. It can, you can accept or decline training, but I, I'm oh. going to accept the training just to, uh, you know, learn the basics because I'm playing on Xbox One. This is, uh, a new playstyle for me, so I got to learn how to do this all over again. And there's a few things you got to do, too, if you want to get 100%, because we are getting 100% for this game. Yes! Music to my ears. So, let's get started. Let's find the molehills, talk to him by pressing the X button, and we're gonna learn things. How's this feel compared to the uh, N64 version? So I got this first episode on the N64, and I gotta say, this feels way better. Because I'm using an Xbox One controller, which is, you know, what, five or six years old? Compared to my 20-year-old Nintendo 64 <laughs> controller. <laughs> That's, that's being bypassed through an, an up converter to a 4K screen. <laughs> yeah, you know, just... well, what are you talking about? N64 was totally capable of 4K. Yeah. <laughs> Sub single digit frames per second after that, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I can't wait until I can find a way to adapt the... Uh, the special connection that an Atari 2600 has, so I can play it on <laughs> 1080p. <laughs> Upscaled. Well, the camera works a lot better in this game than it did in the 64, because it actually focus functions like a second right stick, you yeah. know? Oh, good. The uh, camera's still locked in certain places, but it still feels a whole lot better. Now it's time to learn about jumping. Basically, here's where you learn to jump. You just there. press A, and then... What the... Woo. Oh, I thought I thought you ran into a glitch. No, he just wanted to see <laughs> if he could jump. So Kazooie, our uh, sassy mouth Breagle friend, can help us for a double jump. Just press A, and then woohoo! Just like that. I always did like that. 
Just a little extra on your jump goes a long way in platformers. God, was Bottle snuffing coke? Stop scratching yourself, dude. I think it's all the dirt in his jacket. You dirty mole. So you hold uh, Z, you know, Z, and then press A. And then you do your backflip jump like in Mario 64. Very crucial. So let's practice a bit. A little jump. A little double jump. Simple. Fish bash bosh. We did it! So for this one, here we go down, jump up like that. And here we have an empty honeycomb. You collect six of them and you get a health upgrade. Oh, nice. And uh, the, the reason why we are doing all the tutorials is because there are six extra honeycomb pieces in this level that we're gonna get. <gasps> oh, it's a reward for doing tutorial. Exactly. And it counts towards 100% as well, so. Now we're gonna learn to swim. Mmm, 3D swimming. Oh, it's the best. There's one thing Rareware didn't really get. It's how to move in a 3D space like this. The swimming is one thing, but the flying drives me up a wall. But we'll get to that. <laughs> hey, look at that! You know, I I'm kind of glad uh, Banjo and Kazooie agreed to this symbiotic relationship to which Banjo is so lazy he doesn't even have to use his own arms. He's like, hey, Kazooie! He like pulls a string and Kazooie uses her wings. So it tells me he'd be dead in order for Kazooie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Banjo will be her vessel. Kazooie just has an encyclopedia of insults to call characters. Root Muncher, Worm Breath, Goggle Boy. It's ridiculous. So now it's time to climb trees, and well, you can already see it up there. Climb this tree, and there's our third piece! Hey! hey. Well, shoot, we're already 10% done with this game. Let's get it going, man. Now time for some uh, real practice for jumping. Because over right here is our fourth piece. And behind oh, that waterfall... <gasps> an extra life! Oh, the statue talks. No, stop. Everything talks once. I call this uh, Stamper style. Everything has googly eyes, everything talks. <laughs> Who do you think put the googly eyes on everything? Oh god, the rocks have googly eyes! No! Yep, yep. These guys are known as quarry. Because now we're gonna we're gonna learn probably the second least most uh, least used move in the game, the beak barge. Basically, hold Z or L and R, and then press X, and you lunge forward with Kazooie's oh. beak. That's a move? It's really only ever used once for a, uh. for a Jiggy, but you can just kind of forget about this move. And there's our fifth piece! <gasps> One more to go! Let's learn how to kill things now. Ah, yes. The best part of any platformer. Murder. There are three kill moves we're going to learn here. The claw swipe. This is the least used attack. Isn't this where Banjo actually has to do something for once? Yeah, and it's it's pathetic. You got to be <laughs> you got to be standing still. You press X and he does like three wimpy claw swipes that have no range and it's it's just not worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna harm you. Eh. It'll never be used for anything except for basically right now. Here's Topper the Carrot! Give me your carrot! Eh. 
See, see, look at that. It's pathetic. No range at all. I gotta like, I gotta, I gotta like kiss him if I want to hit him. <laughs> well, that's the next attack. You actually go in for a big hug and a smooch right on the cheek. So we got this roll here. It's it's a little better. I think I've I'd seen call, a like I, I call this like the third least used move. It's mainly just for movement rather than attacking. Yeah. I was just about to say, would uh, speedrunners use this move? But it looks like you're kind of moving at the same rate you would just by normally running. It's basically like rolling in Ocarina of Time. It's, it's not technically faster, but it feels faster. So now we got the Rat-a-Tat Rap. This is the move you'll be using most frequently for attacking. Just jump and hit X. Okay. It's got crazy range. You can you can jump at any height and use it. It's 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 incredible. I just got a flashback to when I was playing, or uh, my friend was playing this at their house, and they used that move, and I was like, oh my god, I have to play this game. There's our six honeycomb piece. We did it. More health. All right. Before we scale the mountain, there's one more thing. Oh, I see it. You see it? Yep, there it is. Now we gotta to do that. Let's head over to uh, Rare's recent gameplay output. Over by the trash. Hey, I think I saw the Sea of Thieves over there. Oh god, was that them? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh no. Well, hey, there's a, <laughs> hey, we, we got Playtonic now, and they they're a lot more confident. I'm gonna actually have to finish ukulele before I agree with you because I stopped after a while, but that was before the uh, the huge update. Oh, so, you, you didn't you didn't play the big update? No. Oh. I got fed up with the original, and then the update came out, and then I just forgot about it. I will say Impossible Layer is better. That's what I hear. Because I think, I think they're both good, so... Are we going to do ukulele? Ask me later. Okay. Are we going to do Cause, ukulele? Because <laughs> right now we're at, we're, at, we're at a big old maybe right now. Okay. I mean, this is a lot of fun to do. I've, I've, I've already got all the footage. I, That's hilarious. I, I went nuts on this. <laughs> Like, you told me that the other day, and I was just thinking, Oh my god, UDJ found the game he can't stop playing! Yay! Well, no, no, that, well it's, it's because I like this game. Yeah, I wanted to get it out of the way, and this is also not my Xbox, so I don't want to keep it for longer than I need to. Oh, come on, I've got, I've got spares. <laughs> Enjoy you got your spares?! Yeah, that's my second Xbox. Or my first one, technically. Well, fine, I'll just play more of Rare Replay games, then. You got 30 games to choose from, my dude! Killer Instinct Gold, here I come. Hope you're ready for a Jet Force Gemini marathon. <laughs> hey, you'd like Jet Force Gemini, too. I do like Jet Force Gemini. So this is where <laughs> Gruntilda has put Tootie. She is uh, in some device that will transport all of the innocent cuteness of Tootie and put it into Gruntilda, and all of her bitter, nasty, ugly hatred will go into Tootie. Hey, look. That's Grun that's obviously bad. Let's not do that. Gruntilda inside that machine is like me getting into anybody else's car besides my own. So this is basically the hammer of Damocles over you this entire time. Any second now, Klungo will flip the switch and the transfer will be made. Here we are inside Gruntilda's lair! Just very carefully make our way in. Dun, okay, let's dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, the Grant Kirkhope. It's let's strong with this one. Here. Oh. We can't, can't really go up there. Too steep. We can go up here and... Oh, what's that? What is this thing? It's a Jiggy! Basically, your golden stars for this game, if we're going to go with the Mario 64 analogy. There are ten Jiggies in Gruntilda's Lair, and this was the first. Oh. So 
So we use that to go over to this room over here. Okay, I remember now. I was just about to ask, do you need a specific number of jiggies to enter the different paintings? Yes, and one. Yes. So stand on the podium here, and then we can put the jiggies into the piece there, the painting. Now, I mean, that's pretty cut and dry. The jiggies aren't specific, right? You can put in any jiggies that you find? Yes. Okay. Just as long as you have it enough, it doesn't matter where they came from. Looks like the maximum would be 16, but I assume the missing pieces get smaller? Uh, no, there's just more missing pieces. Oh, okay. Come to Mumbo's Mountain! Whoa. Enjoy your time and become a dishwasher or something like that, I don't know. Well, next episode, we're gonna <gasps> check out the first level, Mumbo's Mountain. But for now, let me tell you what happens when you quit the game. Because oh. the only way to save is basically to save and quit the game from the pause menu. And when you do that, you're basically giving up then. Are you sure? I remember this. And then you're, and then you're treated this cutscene every single time you quit the game. That is so mean, but a great way to get players to continue to play your game. Oh no! We failed! Hideous. What happened to Mumbo's face, though, in, in here? Check it. It's just... Whoa, that's too realistic! <laughs> and Tootie's now evil and ugly, and she's quite pissed. She turned into a homunculus. Help me! Well, game over. We failed the game. Oh, well. God, episode one, you suck! Yeah, I guess we'll try again next week. See you then, everybody.